Hey Deckers, if you're a fan of The Expanse or you want to play the Epic Games version of this on the Steam Deck, then I have great news for you and how to get around this annoying C++ error. So we'll have a full guide on all of that towards the end of this video. But first I wanted to show off just how well this game actually runs on the Steam Deck. It's very surprising, especially as a lot of Epic Games can struggle somewhat. This is an extremely cinematic game. There is not a huge amount of action. It's all about choice, consequence, and visualization. It does feel like you are playing the TV series, although this is the prequel to the new series coming up. But I was able to run this on all high settings without VSync very happily on the Steam Deck, and it does run and look incredibly well. It does bounce between 40 and 60. It does dip into the 30s occasionally, but because we haven't got any fast motion or anything like that, it really does play and look fantastic. Now you could cap this at 30, on the Steam Deck itself to save a little bit of battery life, but you will get around two hours battery time on this anyway. And the episodes only last around 30 to 45 minutes on a playthrough, unless you want to go and redo choices and stuff. That's gonna be more than enough on high settings. Now it is episodic and there is only a new episode every two weeks. There's currently two episodes available. And once you get to the end, you can look through what your choices were and how that compares to a lot of other people, which is a nice little touch. And then you will need to download the next episode. So the episode two is only just out this week. So you're going to be looking at another two weeks before episode three. And then two weeks after that for episode four, etc. This is supposed to be the precursor to the new series. So it won't spoil that when you get around to watching that as well. The cutscenes are very cinematic. And as you can see here, the quality is exceptionally good. Bouncing between 50 and 70 frames per second most of the time. Not a huge amount of action, although it does have some quick time events here and there, which will catch you out if you're not too careful. But again, it's very easy to get on. And it does give you quite a lot of time on those events as well. There's also the choice system. There's several choice arcs during the game, and these will massively affect your playthrough later on. So do make your decisions wisely. All of your decisions are remembered and it does tell you after making your decision just how much they'll remember it as well. Overall though, it does play fantastically well on the Steam Deck, so if you are looking to play this, unfortunately playing it directly through the Epic Games launcher is not possible. Because of the C++ error and the fix that we've got here, you will need to use the Heroic Games launcher, and I'll go through the full installation guide for that and the fix for this right now. So first of all, you will need to switch over to desktop mode, and if you just install the game, either by Epic Games or the Heroic Games Launcher, you will get that C++ error at launch. If you haven't installed the Heroic Games Launcher, then you will need to install that from the Discover Store. Just search for Heroic Games Launcher. And you will also need something called Proton Tricks. So you can also get that from the Discover Store. So download and install Proton Tricks as well. Once you've installed Heroics Games Launcher, you will need to download The Expanse after you've linked your Epic Games account. And once you've got that installed, you then need to come into the game properties, either using the settings icon from the library screen or the same icon on the details screen and scroll down to Wine Tricks and hit that. It may take a few seconds to load up, especially if you've not run Proton Tricks before. Proton Tricks might come up with a couple of errors, especially if you install this on an SD card. So just read what it says and go and run the command if you need to. Then in Proton Tricks, when it pops up, select the default wine prefix and hit OK. And then the top option of install a Windows DLL or component and hit OK. Then on this screen, you need to scroll pretty much down to the bottom and look for VC Run 2022. Might be a little bit fiddly to hit with the touch screen. You may get an error about running a 64 bit wine prefix. So you might need to use 32-bit. You may need to rerun that if there is an issue. Mine did come up with an error towards the end of the process, but this did seem to complete OK. Then click the OK box. It will go away on its own. If you've reinstalled this, you may need to delete your Wine Tricks folder and also the game and reinstall. But once that's installed, you can come in and you'll be able to play and run the game. However, if you are going to run this in game mode, you do want to go into the details page. Unfortunately, the option's not available from the library screen for some reason. But if you go onto the details screen of the game and hit the three dots up in the top right, 
you can add this to Steam and it will add a shortcut in game mode with game artwork all preloaded for you. So you can run the game directly without having to run the Heroic Games launcher. Don't change the compatibility options in this, as you'll see, there's no compatibility in the target is actually all the flat pack and launch options are all preset. So don't go and change those or run a compatibility mode for that shortcut. Just run it as it is. And you'll now be able to play The Expanse happily on your Steam Deck from game mode without running the Heroic Games Launcher again. Apart from when there is a game update, you will need to go and open the Heroic Games Launcher to run the game update. Let us know if you're going to be diving into this one or waiting for there to be a few more episodes for you to be able to play through at once and how you've been getting on with the Heroic Games launcher. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.